Um, I don't know how this works. I'm going to have a hard time putting my story into words, and I don't want to, but I think I have to, for the real thing might happen to me. That doesn't make it mandatory. That, that's, that doesn't make it mandatory at all, it's still your choice. My story begins about five weeks ago. I was on my laptop reading 4chan when my mother comes into my room and says that her brother's cousin is coming to stay with us for a while. I was so deep into 4chan that I really wasn't even listening. So a few days later my mom comes in and says my cousin has arrived and told me to meet him. I walked to my living room and he was sitting. And at first thing catch my eye, that's a quote, with all his clothes, all white, white shirt, white pants, it was weird. And he had some weird simple painted on in front of his shirt. I said, hey, and extended my arm to shake his hand, which he actually shrugged away from. My mom showed him to his room, and that was kind of the last I saw of him until later. Is that going to tie in later? Is he shrugging off going to... Fuck you, dude. I <laughs> at dinner later that night, me, dad, mom, and my cousin were sitting at a table eating. My cousin was just there. And you were just there. Like, if you're gonna, you know, say that he was, like, there, but not, like, prevalent to, like, the conversations, then you could bring that up. But he was there. You were there. Your dad was there. Your mom was there. Whoever else you said was there was there. Your cousin, whatever. <laughs> he didn't eat drink, talk, or anything the entire time. Sometime after that, I was sleeping and I awoke to this scratching. We didn't have any pets, and we never had any rodent problems, so this was kind of freaky to me. I looked around, out the window, and opened my door to find nothing. Then I figured out the scratching was coming from my cousin's room, which was next to mine. It goes on for... <sighs> Sorry, the story's boring me. It goes on for ten minutes or so, then it stops and I go back to sleep a little creeped out. You go to bed creeped out because you're scratching from a room that's not yours. You even, you know, got two to two together that he's a fucking weirdo, so what if he's just scratching a wall like a derp and you're just making way too much of a big deal out of it? Huh? Scraping at the door! Scraping at the door! Next morning, at breakfast, Mom was cooking breakfast. That sentence! Next morning at breakfast, my mom was cooking breakfast. Thank you. And dad left for his job. My cousin just slouched into a chair at the table. Mom handed us breakfast and went into her room. I asked if he heard something, like scratching. He just looked into space the entire time. I didn't want to seem rude to him. So I asked him if he wanted to do something later, which he still said nothing. He just got up from the table and went back to his room. I asked my mom why my cousin was staying here. She said my brother and his wife's house had burned down, and while they were getting a new place to live, they asked if he could live here for a bit, and I said yes. And then I replied with, His house burned down? How did that happen? I asked. He never said, and with that, I said thanks and left my room. Fuck this story. Seriously. Okay, so this cousin comes out of the blue. He's a social introvert. He survived a fucking fire. And he's just like living there? Did he eat his breakfast? I couldn't understand. I could understand why he seemed so depressed. His house burned down. He probably lost everything. I'd feel the same way if I lost all my things in a flash. You know what I would feel like if my house burnt down? THANKFUL TO BE ALIVE! I decided to hang out with him for a while to try to cheer him up. I knocked on his door a few times, but he never answered, so I assumed he was sleeping. You assumed? It's like the thing you shouldn't do is assume. And on top of that, didn't you just mention I decided to hang out with him to cheer him up? That implies that you actually did hang out with the guy. Instead, a couple sentences later, you're like, I tried. Try to hang out with him. Didn't work. At dinner, it was the same thing as last night. Didn't do anything, or say anything. I asked if he wanted to play games on my laptop, which he very quietly said, yes. Oh, he said the word. 
was the first thing he said the entire time he was here, so I figured I'd started to cheer him up. I invited him to my room and showed him a few games I had. He didn't want to play any of them. He showed me a disc, and I got the hint. He wanted to play whatever was on there, so I put the disc in my laptop. Let's, let's hold up for a second. Wouldn't it be crazy if this was Sonic.exe? It would save the story completely. And my screen instantly went to the game. That's a red flag if you know computers, because typically it gives you a little autoplay thing, and it's like, you want to run it, you want to install it, you want to fucking eject it, you want to let it on fire, it's all an option. It looked like the game was corrupted, because there was some mild interference in the game. The game itself, it's really odd, it's basically some character walking around a forest. He never told me what to do, so I tried to figure it out myself. But all I did the entire time was walk through a seamlessly never-ending forest for God knows how many hours we played it. I asked him what the game was called, but he didn't answer. I kept walking and walking through the forest until something caught my eye. This other person in the forest with me. He was so far from the distance I couldn't see him much. As soon as I started walking towards him, he ran away faster than my character. After there was nothing else, just more walking till I got bored and quit the game. My cousin didn't seem to care. I tried to give him the disc back, and he just said keep it very quietly, and walked back to his room. I was confused at this point. When I looked at my clock, it was 11.34 at night. I couldn't believe it was so late. That's what happens when you stay up late playing walking in the woods simulator. And I almost immediately went to bed after putting the disc in my closet discs closets you put your discs in the closet I just don't I think that's a weird place to put discs I'm sorry I woke up again only to be woken up by the scratching what oh, what was this, uh, was this, uh, what the fuck is this? What the, is the disc on it? Is it on the disc? No. Oh. oh, no. It's a haunted disc, isn't it? Oh, baby, that's a fucking terrible story. Got a 3 out of 10. That's about right. Not even a 3 out of 10. I give it a 1 out of 10. Uh, no grammar. I don't get the ending other than the di ghost disc. I fucking know. Done. See you later. Click on some fucking annotations, I don't know.